I, w I was stunned. I wasn't expecting these fingerprints to become uh, identified because he was simply for elimination purposes. Unless this person had a very good reason for having his fingerprints on the glasses, he was going to be a very high suspect in the case. Keelan Heron was a 19-year-old farm worker who lived with his parents and younger siblings in Castle Blaney. The family was well respected and although his academic achievements were poor, Keelan Heron was socially competent and had had a girlfriend for the previous two years. At about six o'clock on Wednesday the 19th of December 2001, I was in charge of a party of guardy who went to the home of Keelan Heron. We entered, we knocked on the door and found that the door was opened. On entering the house, uh, we met Morris Heron, who's the father of Keelan Heron. I'm a member of Angada Shia Kana. I informed him that I had a warrant in my possession to search the house for evidence in relation to the murder of Sister Philomena Lyons. Where's your son? We commenced our search and identified the people in the house. Keelan was in a bedroom asleep and I entered this bedroom and I woke Keelan and told him to get up. Please get up. I then asked him to put on a white protective suit and we assisted him in doing that. And then we brought him out into the hallway of the house where I informed him that I was arresting him for the murder of Sister Philomena. Do you understand the reason for your arrest? Yeah. Take him away. I didn't do it. I, I didn't do it. You've been arrested for the murder of Sister Philomena Lyons at Clonus Road, Bally Bay, on Saturday morning, the 15th of December 2001. Do you understand that? Yes, I know that. And I did do it. Did you know the lady was a nun? I did. And how did you do it? I dried her up from the lane and done it with her scarf. No, 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 no. Go back further than that. Go back to the very beginning. I, I bought a carton of apple juice in a spa shop from a girl that I didn't know who she was. I saw a tall woman wearing a black coat, black trousers and black shoes, about 39 to 45 years of age. I got the urge to have that sex of her. She was 200 yards out the road when I set out after her. After a short distance, I saw a man at a car. He sat into it and got back out. I slowed down to avoid meeting him. Good morning, sister. How are you? Keelan Heron was returning from a night with his girlfriend. The woman who became the focus of his attention was the care worker who greeted Sister Philomena that fateful morning. Thank you, you too. At this point, the Cloners Road, I noticed a nun standing on the right hand side near the wall outside St. Joseph's nursing home. When he saw the nun, I decided to have sex of her instead. I could see she was a nun because she was wearing nun's clothes with a veil and a black scarf wrapped around her neck. She was about in her 60s and she was wearing glasses. I ran at her and grabbed her around the neck with my right hand around her neck and mouth, my left hand grabbing her back. I dragged her back into the ground and I ran backwards with her feet dragging along the ground. Did she have her glasses on? She did. Did you take her glasses off? I did not. Did you touch her glasses? I put my hands around her face when I was dragging her up the lane. And my hand might have been over her glasses, but I didn't take them off. I 
and she was dead. I got up off her and I left her lying on the grass as she was. I then went home and I went to bed. We never came to a conclusion why Keelan carried out this attack for he had no history of this type of activity. It was announced, uh, I suppose, on the Wednesday evening who the uh, person was that had been charged with the murder. And I think people locally were shocked, I suppose, that it was a local because for the few days of the investigation they'd been hoping maybe that it wasn't a local, that it was an outsider or a stranger just passing through the town that morning. When they found out it was not only a local, but a person whose family were well known and well respected in the area, people were very much taken aback. On the morning of the trial, he pleaded guilty to murder and he received a life sentence. During the hearing of that case, Keelan Heron expressed sorrow for what he had done and apologised to the family of Sister Philomena and to her sister nuns in the convent in Bally Bay. The convent itself is quite close to the town and has been an integral part of the town and the area and that is why there was such shock because people knew the nuns so well and the nuns themselves were uh, very much involved in the community, particularly Sister Philomena. This was the first nun to be murdered in Ireland or in modern Ireland at least and uh, it, has been, it, it will live with Bally Bay for a long time. The people of the locality were really horrified to think that such a traumatic experience happened to a person who was consecrated to God as a sister for 51 years and lived her whole life doing good to everybody. We would like her to be remembered as somebody who was very, very selfless, very dedicated, somebody who is loving, compassionate and caring and very forgiving. Sister Philomena Lyons would have forgiven uh, Killian Heron for this horrendous crime and we too forgive him.